Okay, guys, so the new Piggy update is officially out. Season 2, The Haunting. It is officially here. We've got a bunch of new rewards. We've got a bunch of new skins, like three or four new skins in here, a new journal entry, some build mode items. We've got a brand new currency candy. There was a lot of stuff here, and I actually stayed up pretty much all night. We live streamed all night, and we grinded this season pass out. And as you can see, we literally have every single thing in the season pass. We've got the new doggy Jason skin. We've got the cauldron. We've got the crow skin, the spider trap, the Bakari skin. Yes, this skin can literally go invisible. It is insane. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go through all of these. I'm going to show you what they all are. And then, uh, and then we'll take a look at this new skin, shall we? Before we get started, though, if you haven't yet, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button down below. I'm actually going to be giving out some Robux codes. We do this every time that there's a new piggy update to celebrate the update. We're going to be giving out some Robux cards. All you got to do is be subscribed and leave a comment down below with your Roblox name, and I'll pick a winner in tomorrow's video. But anyway, with that being said, we've got a lot of new skins to check out. We've got the Crove skin. We've got the brand new Bat skin. Let's go ahead. Let's get started. Also, by the way, if you're looking to find out how we leveled up so fast and grinded out the quest so fast, stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll explain there, okay? So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the new build mode items. All right, we've got the spooky lights. We've got the pig o lanterns We've got the gate. We've got the new doggy skin, and we've got the cauldron of so let's hop into build mode and let's check these out. Okay, so here we are in build mode. I've gotten everything set up here. It seems like a lot, but I'm going to go ahead and break all of this down. So first off, we've got the new piggy pumpkins. These are decoration items. They don't do anything. They light up. You can place them around a map. And as you can see, they look pretty cool. We can turn the time of day to nighttime. You can see they look really awesome. Big fan of these. Of course, we also have the spooky lights right above them. They're just the Halloween decoration lights that Minitune uses in all the maps. And then if we turn the time back to day, daytime, we can take a look at the other two items here. Oh, well, there's actually three. So the next one is the cauldron event. And this is basically a safe. It's a cauldron. You can customize what comes out of it. And then what you have to do is in order to oops, push the uh, wrong button there. Don't worry about that. So you can customize what comes out of it whenever you activate it. So for example, we can make it give a an apple just going to go ahead and confirm that and how it works is you have to have two potions. So you put these two potions around the map and then a player will grab those two potions, put it in the cauldron and then it gives an item. We'll check it out here in game. Then we have the other giant gate. This is the other giant door option. And in order to activate this, we have a brand new key, which is the skeleton hand. So let's go ahead, let's hop in and let's check this out here real quick. So let's go bot mode and then we'll go ahead and see how this works. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the potions. I'm gonna go and grab these. I'm gonna pop them in. There's one and there's two. And there is the apple that we selected. Very, very cool. And then finally, here's the gate. Let's go ahead, let's grab the key. Key. We're going to go ahead, pop it in. There it goes. Super awesome. You're also going to notice the new skin right here. This is Jason Doggy. Of course, the Friday the 13th looks super awesome. Kind of looks like the outfit I wear, actually. But I love this. The mask, the everything. This is probably one of my favorite skins in the game now. Absolutely love this. By the way, if you want to know how to access all of this, once you get it, you just come on down here. You press one. All of the items are in the item. We've got the event. So there's the gate right there. The cauldron is down here, I believe. There it is. All the items are right in here and then of course if you want to customize your skin you right click down here or click down here and then you click on this button right here and then you can choose Mr. Doggy Mask right here on the end so awesome so next up let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new alternate Crove skin this is the Plague Doctor I'm going to go ahead and select that and we also have a brand new trap as well if we go to items go to piggy scroll on over here to the where's that the spider trap or the mouse trap I should say the spider trap is a brand new alternate version of the mouse trap there it is right there already got it equipped. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so here is the brand new Crove skin, the Plague Doctor skin, looking super awesome. Crove has always been one of my favorite skins in the game. I think he just looks super cool, and this just makes him even cooler. I absolutely love this. Let's get in the game and, uh, you know, uh, attack some, some survivors. Okay, so here we are in game. You can get a better look at it under actual lighting here. The belt, he's got the little, like, Plague Doctor error thingamabobby. I'm not really sure what that is. Not really a historian, but let's go ahead and, uh, let's attack some people and see what the jump scare looks like. We'll just take this girl right here and... <laughs> Very cool. Big fan. Looking awesome. And then let's also go ahead and throw down the spider trap. 
there it is right there. That was actually pretty loud and creepy. And it's gonna, there it goes, right on up there. It's gonna go find some, <laughs> it's gonna go find some survivors. And there's one right there, amazing. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. This is why you're here. Here it is, the brand new Bakari skin, the invisible bat skin. Let's go ahead, let's equip this bad boy. Let's take a look. And here it is, the brand new bat skin. Look at this bad boy. Oh my God, it looks so good. The wings, how he's like flying, floating, the fan how he goes invisible that's that's actually kind of kind of op a little bit you could do some hiding behind some corners i love the sound let's go ahead and hop in game and see what the jump scare looks like all right so here we are in game let's go ahead we got some georgies over there let's see what this jump scare is like here we go three two one <laughs> Okay, so he basically bites people like a vampire. Interesting. And then finally, let's go ahead and take a look at the new journal entry. Here it is right here. They neglected me, but I don't need them. I found a friend. Then they banished me, but I found a place. I did not want what we had to end. So I gave them a face. Now, just like their lips, they are sealed. Now I may finally be healed. The world will be ours. Of course, this is talking about Dude Man and Mr. Stitchy. Now, if you want to know how I leveled up so fast and got all these rewards and all these quests done so fast, the secret is actually just like last time. It's a certain map. Okay, so in order to level up fast, it's actually really simple. All you got to do is go in a VIP server, okay? And you can do that. Everyone can do that right now because they're all literally free. So just make a VIP server and then you're going to want to go to Chapter 3. This is the map you're going to want to do this on. You want to go to Bot chapter three or swarm mode either one swarm mode gives you a little bit extra coins if you want to do that if you if you're in need of some coins and then just go ahead and skip the timers go ahead get straight into the game and basically what you're going to do in order to level up fast is play this map over and over and over and over and over solo if possible maybe one or two friends can help you along the way now the reason why we're going to do the gallery map is because this map gives you over 200 xp i think it's near like a 250 xp every time you complete it so you get 10 xp for using an item right so that's 10 xp right there this orange key right here will be another 10 xp now there's a hammer on this map that will give you 40 xp by itself make sure to use every key on the map including the yellow key here and once you complete the map and escape which escaping gives you an extra 100 by the way literally every time you complete this map you'll get over 200 xp i think it's like 240 or something which means you can level up from level one all the way to max level level 11 in literally like two hours like two hours maybe e even lower than that and then once you complete the map just do it all over again and you'll level up super super fast it's how i did it anyway that's the new season we've got everything in the game again make sure you're subscribed leave your name down below we're gonna be giving out some robux hopefully this video helps you guys out and i'll see you guys in the next video oh yeah make sure you're subscribed keep using star code real quick i'll see you guys next time bye